Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck today for a mage video. It's about the fire and ice build. Uh, there's a couple of different variant of this build, so let's get straight into it. So the first variant that I want to show you is uh, the Natsur Watches piece. It's my favorite fire maze uh, artifact in this game. I really like it. Uh, but since most of the fire mage gonna use the meteor shower, uh, look the perk over there. Since most of the fire mage gonna use the meteor shower, you're gonna get your empowerment from that. So since you're gonna get your empowerment from that, you can take off a lot of those harnessing and root glass and go for a feeter weight build instead. I probably have feeter weight somewhere. Yeah, it's this artifact right there. If you use feeter weight, you're gonna be able to have two pieces of AV armor with frigid down. You can go type it if you want to find it. It's gonna make you tanky. You're gonna do a bit less, you're gonna be a bit less constant on the DPS, but you're still gonna have decent DPS, but you will for sure never do enough uh, the same DPS as someone with the Natsu Watches piece because if someone reach the same empowerment as you if he manage to do it with the Natsu Watches piece well he gonna have some extra base damage and this is why so uh, you're gonna see the Admiral set it's all those pieces right there it have it have ice harnessing and it dropped from dungeon my mistake that I did in this build is to slot some opal gem into it. You see over there, uh, I think I was just doing a war against some people with a lot of EV elemental, it's why I did it like that. But if you want it more all around, you should be having more uh, physical resistance into this set because as you can see, there's a lot of elemental aversion. So I already have the elemental cover. So with the gem, I should be covering more the physical, if that makes sense. And you see, I have even more like over there. Trust protection is great, but maybe I would be better to put like some uh, moonstone into it. Like maybe I have one fire gem in my stuff, two moonstone, and the rest all onyx would be great. Um, because yeah, I need the trust protection, slash protection, and fire protection and war. And OPR can do it's the, the best thing. So it's one of the reasons why Ice Harnessing is pretty nice into this build. Uh, you can do this build with all the element can do. The ice is just uh, because it's an ice build, so it just makes more sense to go with ice. But I know that it's possible to make this build with like uh, Natsur Harnessing or whatever you want. I still think that it since you're an ice mage, you better to go with ice. And when you go something else, you're almost better to go with a build like this with like fire harnessing on it. You're still going to benefit from the deep, deep freeze because it's just DPS on chilled enemy. And the people are still going to be chilled uh, if you use a fire gem into your fire staff. You don't need to have the ice uh, DPS into it. But yeah. Yeah, as you can see, this build is pretty good. Uh, it, it's like more uh, this one. There's a blunderbuss build. I got like uh, some other shoes that I can switch for when I don't use the blunderbuss and I use like the rapier and I can put the IG to into this build. But if I really want to go all in IG, then I'm going to switch. For this build right there, I'm gonna switch the fire harnessing for uh, ice harnessing, and I'm gonna have the ice gem into my fire staff right there with the refreshing of pillar of fire. I better like refreshing pillar of fire than empowering fireball on my fire staff because refreshing of pillar of fire, you're just gonna do more DPS with it overall. Like uh, in one v one, maybe I would say that the 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 fireball is better, but into all type of the rest of combat like in 1v2 1v3 you better to have refreshing pillar of fire this is what's gonna come back quick and like you can just pop it and it's good to secure kill for i kill game i did 50 kill game in opr with refreshing pillar of fire on my, on my like, fire staff 
So with the deep freeze, you're gonna benefit frozen, rotated enemy, take 15% additional damage on both weapons. So it's why deep freeze. I really like the endless stirs, but with that, uh, yeah, I use the refreshing toast on it. Uh, maybe you guys like something else on it, but I feel like refreshing toast is like the move. Uh, I got the ice damage ring over there with invigorated punishment. I think that invigorated punishment is amazing. Uh, and yeah, I did put stamina recovery on my tangled vine. Uh, maybe I'm gonna rework this build soon and put like a, a, and make like another fire staff that it's 725. But for the moment, like I, I still feel overpowered with those fire mage build in uh, in OPR, and I still feel fine. So I don't feel like upgrading my build now, but I'm gonna probably do it soon because like I still want to to be on the same level and you know. Uh, this account did not do OPR for the moment too, so when he's gonna do OPR, I'm probably gonna start spending mats before going into OPR and make a good build with it. So yeah, this is my mage build on this account, kind of. Uh, and then I switch with like finisher, uh, I have the abyss too, and like the, I like the best lance a lot, uh, with the fire, usually I put a gem into it. I just did some testing recently, so I have flame attunement. But usually you're gonna put a gem into it, uh, a gem slot. It's amazing. So yeah, for that tribute in PvP, I go so 200 con and the rest in Intel. It's just a no-brainer. It worked good. You, if you you want. Like you can go 150 con too. I did war at 150 con like this and it was fine. Even at, like if you are into the back line, you can lower your con a lot because you're not really getting attacked. But as soon as you're going to get into 1v1 situation, you better have, have like 150 con and plus. For me, my sweet spot is 200 con because you know, that 10% increase to physical elemental does the difference. I feel like it's a big buff. And then you put the rest into Intel with no strength. All in Intel. Boom. I don't know why it's encumbered. I'm uh, still like that. Just I don't want to be encumbered, seems like. My favorite always been with the... Um, how to say that? When I, I play the, the pylon like this, because I'm an aggressive dude and I only play Untomb when I'm in a war and like it's a sweaty war and I know that the people want me to run this. Uh, usually I'm gonna run the pylon or the ice spike and I build it the same way as the pylon when I build the ice spike. I'm gonna show the pylon because it's my favorite for some reason. I really like uh, having the ice pylon that is just... It just keep doing a constant DPS while I'm using my fire staff. So yeah, I need to add more point because if I don't, I cannot use the ultimate right there. So you see, ice can let chill target increasing ice damage dealt to the target by 25% for three seconds. So like my ice pylon do more DPS because of that and like. Uh, you see what I mean? It's a way to buff my other ice uh, DPS, like from the ice storm and the ice pylon. So I like it. Uh, yeah, I place it like this, and yeah, like when you run away, it, it's an amazing build. Like I really like it like that. You can use the ice spike instead of the pylon. Uh, you see, like uh, I'm pretty sure that the ice spike right now is viable. I've seen one of my friends uh, do some great thing with it. But this is the, the, the build that I like the most, uh, so this is the one that I'm showing. So for the fire staff, uh, you can build it like this, and sometimes I take off this to put the haste. I feel like the haste is an amazing thing to have, so like uh, if you think that you're... Like this is more just to reduce your cooldown and pump on clump. If you think that you're going to be more in like 1v2 situation and stuff like that, you better to have a bit of haste. And maybe if you think you are empowered cap, you can you can take off like stuff like that. Uh, 
you see you, uh, you gain so much empower from everywhere that like uh you see you can take one of those two empower and put the ace and it's not gonna be a big deal you already you, like i'm pretty sure i'm 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 way above empower uh into this build but you know if you're empower cap and you get amphibole then you're gonna have a margin where you can get more empower but yeah this is another story I just want to thank you to make it this far into this video. I wish everyone a good day. Tell someone you love them. Peace out.